To show you how to solve access blocked error while uh, connecting an A10 workflow to Google API, I'll uh, use a uh, Google Drive API. So I'll uh, connect this uh, workflow to Google Drive API. So that is my trigger. I'll just search for Google Drive, which is this one. So the triggers that I want are when changes are made on a specific folder. So I'll choose that. So we are supposed to fill the credentials here, credentials to connect with. I'll just create new credentials. So I'm assuming you're creating new credentials. Then of course it uh, you are, it's recommended to use a uh, odd to so that's what we are going to use so i have my google drive uh, api or uh, an account i'm i'm having my google drive is this one here so i hope you have created your first project or your project you've given it a name any name then uh, you have also created uh, odd zero client ids or I can go ahead and uh, create a new one. So just click on uh, credentials, then add zero client. Then the type is uh, web application. And then um, authorized redirect URLs is uh, the one that uh, you've been provided by N810, which is this one here. So I'll just click to copy. And then come add it here. Then I will uh, create. Of course, I'm going to delete this after this video. So the name is Web Client 3. So we have the client ID here and we have the client uh, secret. So you'll copy the client ID and uh, add it here. Then you'll also copy the client uh, secret, which is this one. Then uh, you add it here. And after that, you save. So after uh, you save, you'll come back to here and just click OK. And the the web uh, client app has been created or odd zero credentials has been uh, created. But now if you come back and uh, sign in with Google, this pop-up screen comes up, then you click on your account to authorize. So you can see my Gmail here is aluku hosting at gmail.com. So click on that. And you hit this. So access blocked. N and eight dot cloud has not completed the Google verification process. So if you're starting out and uh, you have submitted maybe your app for verification and it has not been verified, I will uh, hit this error. So to solve it, um, if you read these instructions down here, N eight N eight N cloud has not completed the Google verification process. The app is currently being tested and can only be accessed by developer approved testers. So if you think you should have access, contact the developer. What that means is that uh, this email has to be added to the testers, you know, authorized testers of the app that you've created or the credentials you've created in the Google Cloud. So I'll uh, copy this email, then go to my Google Cloud, then I'll click on the Out Consent screen. And then in this Out Consent screen, I'll click on the Data Access not that access, but audience. Click on the audience. 
then down here we have test users so you just add that email as a test user then you save then click save again so after doing that you just come back here and uh, you try signing again so sign in with google so you click on that and you can see you're supposed to choose an account so you click on it again so google hasn't verified this app you have been given access to the app that is currently being tested you should only continue if you know the developer that invited you so just uh, click continue and uh, you also click continue again and you can see the connection is successful account connected so you'll now be able to you know access the google drive api and this applies to other google api so the process is just the same so you'll come back now that your account has been connected you will uh, you know fill the other areas you're supposed to select a folder so click on that so i only have one so shared folder then i watch on the changes on the folder when a file is created and I can fetch the testing events yeah so everything is successful and you can see this information is populated here so if you're trying to connect to any other google um, api the process is just the same so if you're using the same email you know you're using the same email in your google drive as the one you are using to sign up or connect with uh, NetN, then you'll just add the same same email to your Google Drive as a tester. So, for example, my Google Drive email is foreveraluku at gmail.com. So, I have added it as a test user. So, if I wanted to connect with this in my NetN, then it will work. So, that is how you can uh, do that. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next uh, video.